something that's a little little personal slightly embarrassing but it's okay I'm not shy <laughs> so basically as you can see by the title I'm going to do a salt water cleanse I kind of want to take you on the journey with me um, I have my water already prepared right here and basically the reason why I'm doing it number one I'm tired of being fat <laughs> I've gained a lot of weight since I got laid off last September of 2015 and just hanging around the house and you know not being as active as I used to be I picked up quite a bit of weight unfortunately I'm like 5'2 I weigh 180 pounds not embarrassed to say it because I think that you know I wear it well but my frame you know I don't need to be carrying around this weight my feet hurt um, I had got sick maybe about a month ago I was actually having chest pains I was having a lot of pain in here I was having pain under like my uh, my boob but it was like in my rib cage so I was like maybe I had a, a air pocket or something and so uh, but I was really concerned that it was my heart because I had never had that that pain before I went to the doctor they did a chest x-ray and they were like um, it's nothing wrong with your heart they did an EKG it's nothing wrong with your heart but you are extremely constipated and I said get out of here that's so disgusting and terrible but I mean it happened I was a vegetarian from last Thanksgiving all the way up until March of this year and then I broke my um, no meat thing that I was on I started eating meat again and you know my habits of eating healthy just went down the drain no exercise and you know bad habits being stressed out drinking smoking you know things like that I tried to do the right thing I really do but I love food a lot um, you know and I have my other my other kind of habits that I'm trying to get rid of so for the month of August I just wanted to start off fresh and do something different to try to jump start my my health kick um, so so far uh, I'm doing a fast for the next two weeks of no alcohol no smoke and probably next week I'll probably go with like no bread and you know bread and mashed potatoes and all that stuff that I just really really love but I have to let it go you know because I know when I was on the vegetarian kick and working out and doing the right thing not being over indulgent with food beverages you know and all of those things I was feeling a lot better spiritually I felt like I was a lot more grounded but since I've kind of been eating meat and just you know over indulging in my habits I just don't feel right and spiritually I feel off you know mentally I'm kind of foggy I wake up I'm tired I go to bed I'm tired you know so I'm like man I gotta I gotta purge I gotta purge this crap out of my system ew so um, anyway I decided today I did uh, some research on detoxing and I came across one it's called a salt water cleanse basically what you need is two tablespoons of sea salt um, you need to have a liter of filtered warm water and your sea salt should not have any iodine in it. Some people use Himalayan pink sea salt. I just use regular uh, sea salt with no iodine in it, and I added it to my water. And this is a big, this is a big old cup. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to get this down. Um, see how much of a, see how strong I am. So I'm gonna drink this. I'm gonna drink this on camera. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back later and give an update on exactly what happened. I'm hoping that, like, everything is going to come out. I just hope that <laughs> when I go to sit down, that just everything is going to come out and I'm going to feel so much better. I don't really know how often I'm going to do this cleanse. Um, I do want to let it be known. This is an experiment, so I'm kind of experimenting on myself. I do have high blood pressure, which it ties into all of my bad habits and stress. So I was a little concerned about the salt, but I'm going to, you know, keep an eye on my blood pressure and check it frequently to see if it's going to affect it at all. And I'll, you know, update that as well. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just jump on in because I didn't want to make this, I didn't want to make this too long. And I'm scared. <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh, God. So um, let's do it. I can do it. Everybody says it's so gross. I actually kind of like swishing in salt water, but I've never actually drank salt water. So here we are, but I'm going to come back with a video and I'm going to try to get through this and let's do it. It's not that bad. It's not bad. Oh, 
They say you're supposed to drink it within 15 minutes. And then I'm going to go lay down on my side and massage my tummy. And within an hour, within an hour, something should happen. I hope something happens. Almost done. Excuse me, I'm sorry. That's a real woman right there. filthy nasty I'm so sorry that's disgusting but anyway I hope you're um that doesn't offend people that's a little too serious excuse me we all burp I apologize but yes yeah, so I got that down yay and um I'm gonna see what happens I hope you know I'm not gonna be doubled over in pain later but I gotta get my my intestines and everything in order I gotta get stuff moving I've tried I've tried Miralax that doesn't really work I've tried um, Smooth Move Tea, and I also tried something called Lacey LeBeau. I think it's Lacey LeBeau Super Dieters Tea in the past, but it creates so much cramping, and it's so painful uh, for me uh, when it's time for me to let it all go. So anyway, that's it. Thank you for joining me. I will be back with the update, um, and I'm, I'm hard-headed. I don't like to follow the rules you know all the time I can be honest because technically I'm supposed to do this first thing in the morning to get the best results and I'm supposed to do this on an empty stomach I did eat earlier today at around 11 o'clock it's after 6 o'clock now and I kind of had uh, some candy earlier but they said as long as you do it two hours without any food you should be okay but I'm gonna next time I do it I'm gonna do it the right way I'm gonna follow the directions and do it um, do it on an empty stomach first thing in the morning but my thing is I have to go out in the morning so I'm not trying to be on you know stuck in traffic and then that thing comes down on me and it hits me um, so I'm gonna just try it tonight to see how things go at least just to move some things around I may do the cleanse again tomorrow depending upon how I feel and my blood pressure because I think some people that do the master cleanse they actually do the salt water like every day for five days or something like that I don't really know how that's gonna affect me but um, I got to do, you know, I got to do something to get this, uh, you know, chunkiness off of me. Because it's, I just, I don't know, I'm tired of being unhealthy and feeling chunky and having a cloudy head and all that stuff. But anyway, thank you so much for sticking with me and watching. I'll be back to give you my results and the next video won't be as long, okay? Y'all take care. God bless, and let's try to get healthy together, you know, peace.